Hi guys, Apollos is here and this is my tutorial on how to build a water curtain. This was requested by one of my subscribers by the name of Viper Code. There are two ways to do it. There's an easy way and then there's a hard way. The easy way is for you to start breaking up the uh, area where you'll have the, your water curtain and you leave um, some blocks there. Now what you do is you go up on the other side and you just fill it in like so there we go and actually um, you need it to be too thick I'm sorry about that I always forget to make it too thick come on swim there we go and actually you need it to be at least one wider these side ones have to be covered up as well. You're basically trying to make an area where you can dig without having to worry about flooding. There we go. And then just fill this in. Come on. There we go. All right. That way you can dig this without any problem. Now the way water tip works is it goes to the lowest point possible. So what we want is to have like a little trench right there. And when it comes to building these things, you always break dirt from the bottom up. If you destroy it on top, it's just going to flow in and everything will flow in there. And then you start taking out the blocks. Again, always bottom to top. There we go. Now this is the moment of truth there you go now if you want you can actually place half slabs over here and it won't cause the block to pour in that way you can just walk in or out see that's the easy way of making a water curtain the hard way involves not having these and in order to do that it's the same process the only problem is you're not relying on these blocks and actually for simplicity's sake I'm going to make it only one but basically what you need to do is you need to dig a hole where you want the water to flow to and then you're going to want to fill whoops let me grab some air everything around the area where you want the uh, curtain to be but don't fill this hole that's important because you need that hole in order for the water to flow into it alright come on there we go and I think I missed the block over there, but we'll see when I start digging this place out. Okay. So, we got the area dug out. Now, you start digging from the bottom up. Okay. There's the hole, and actually I have it placed in the wrong place. Or do I? Oh, no, no. The water will be flowing here. You need the hole adjacent to where the water will be flowing. Alright. Let's see. That's why it's important to, it's better to put too much dirt than too little, basically. And what you want to do is dig the area above the hole so that the water flows in there. And actually, I didn't need to destroy this because we are making it only a little one wide water curtain. Now, this would work. This is one of the easy ways of making a water curtain, but I find it annoying because you have to try to swim up this hole, which takes too long. And if you're doing underwater work that's way too long we go ahead and put a block there so that the water doesn't flow in here and you dig that one out and when you dig this one as you can see even though it's hitting a flat surface um, it's not pouring into your home anymore so this way when you're doing your construction you can easily just walk right in and that in a nutshell is a water curtain 
if you wanted to make it three wide, it's the same process except that you would have to make the holes on either side. Like there and there. But other than that, it's the same process. You basically want the water to flow into these holes rather than into your home. I hope you guys found this useful and I'm sure most will be using this method. It has the advantage of not having this little pitfall because well it would suck for you to be doing underwater construction and be like oh no I'm running out of air and then you're like oh and then you have to do that as opposed to this one where it's just walking. Alright see you guys next time. Bye.